I put together this pre-Ramadan game plan this year and I wanted to share it um, in the hopes that it helps other mums that might be struggling with putting together a game plan essentially for uh, Ramadan and just before Ramadan. We're about a week away now and we've not got much time left at all and it's really really important that we make the most of the next couple of days to um, do as much as we can to make sure that the rest of Ramadan goes really really well. One of the first things that I did was to set some spiritual goals. And I did this using the Productive Muslim uh, Daily Ramadan Planner. This, I believe, is an old version. It, um, it's from 2012, but it's still a really, really helpful way to organize your day um, every day in Ramadan um, around Salah. So essentially the uh, the planner has um, the different Salah times listed and it's got three important and then it's got three important things that I'll get done today no matter what at the very bottom which is really really useful um, and on the side it's got five steps to have a productive Ramadan um, and they include things like planning your day around energy levels, um, you're prioritizing your spiritual development, delegating, delaying, or just deleting tasks, um, and just in general, um, you know, making sure that you plan everything that you need to do around Salah. And that's a habit that I really want to build for after Ramadan as well. So I'm really looking forward to using this. Find tasks to put into my daily planner. I went to Gilded Dunya's blog. If you haven't checked out her blog, you need to. It is brilliant. She's got a to-do list up for children and adults. And I went to the, um, the children's one is really, really adorable. I went to the adult version and it has a little table of things, um, of tasks that you can do um, during Ramadan. And it's got like a little chart so you could tick them off. She also puts down the rewards associated with each task like Quran after Fajr, daily Al-Kar and she's got um, little sections at the bottom as well uh, for reflections and things like that. I won't be using those sections but I am really looking forward to putting the tasks that she's got in the list over onto my um, daily planner. For example, Quran after Fajr will go in Fajr section and so on and so forth. She's got some really, really, really lovely posts as well about making the most of Ramadan. So I encourage you to check her out. Another thing that's really, really important is to come up with an activity list. If you've got children, you'll know that this is really, really important. So there's a little section on um, the bottom of my printable which is available on the blog. Um, I will link it below and you can print it out. Um, I basically just listed down a couple of activities um, that I can think of now, as well as ones that are pre-scheduled, um, such as ones at the masjid or other places for children, specifically um, around uh, Ramadan or Eid. And um, I've penciled those in so that when it's a really, really difficult day and I'm looking for something to do with the children, um, I kind of have a list to refer to. Um, and I, I find that really the next thing that I'd advise you do is clean, clean, clean. Um, I put together a really quick um, list of cleaning tasks. This is not spring cleaning. Um, we don't want to waste time um, doing that now. What we do want to do though is, cre is create just a, a nice, uh, you know, fresh, clean environment um, and decluttered environment that we can um, go through uh, the rest of Ramadan with and not have to worry about um, you know tidying up or putting things away or reorganizing anything and wasting uh, you know precious time on that so some of the things I had was just deep cleaning um, the kitchen oven the hob cabinets decluttering and just restocking basics so you don't need to go to the supermarket the same with the bathroom um, you know restocking necessities um, decluttering your living room your master bedroom um, you know getting your books out that you you want to refer to during Ramadan, um, setting out your uh, prayer space if you have the space in your home to do that, and decluttering um, the kids' room and reorganizing, and creating a toy rotation, which is what I just did today. Get a dealt with now. Um, so whether that's um, getting your gifts together, getting your outfits together, getting decorations sorted, get it done now. 
Bob, if you just get it all done now, you're doing it with a much clearer mind and um, inshallah you'll be able to, to just relax knowing that it, it's, it's all sorted. If you want to purchase um, the festive badges that are on my uh, that are on the blog, please remember that 100% of the proceeds go to Feeding the Fasting. So if you'd like just a little thing to, to jazz your um, daughter or son's outfit up, or even as a gift to um, young children, this would be a perfect, perfect thing to give them. Come up with a meal plan. I came across this clean food, clean heart, 30 day Ramadan meal plan, and I love it. I bought it for, I think it was about $14, and I think 20% of the proceeds go towards um, Islamic Relief Canada, um, towards um, uh, an, the African famine, the East African famine. And um, it's brilliant. It's got um, weekly meal plans. It's got shopping lists for those meal plans. It's got iftar, uh, iftar snack ideas. It's got suhoor snack ideas. It's got sunnah. Um, uh, you know, it it it, it, tell, it tells you all about sunnah foods. It really, really is a thorough, thorough ebook, and it's a brilliant, brilliant way to organize yourself as far as food is concerned during Ramadan. Um, I'm not going to use all of the recipes um, exactly as they are. I'm going to switch things up a little. I'm going to swap some of the recipes out with things that are our favorites. Um, but what I will be doing is using that as a guide and that will really help, especially when I do my weekly online shop. Um, I shop online every week and it gets delivered straight to my house and it makes it so much simpler um, to meal plan that way. And this way I can actually sit down now and um, organize my uh, shopping basket online for the four weeks of Ramadan ahead of time. Uh, the day before um, a delivery is due, I can make any changes that I need, but that means that I have all of Ramadan's meals basically sorted out, um, shopped for essentially, and I haven't had to do a thing except for cook it. <laughs> Another thing that I'd highly recommend is Modest Munchies uh, Breakfast and Suhoor ebook. I love the recipes, they're so simple to put together. The ebook is just so pleasing to the eye. It, the, the images are beautiful, the ideas are beautiful, they're, um, they're ones that I really, really enjoy, um, and it's free. So if you want to check that out, please go to modestmunchies.com. I'll leave a link to her blog below. Make it special for the kids. I recently published two posts on how you can create a Ramadan good deed calendar for your child and also how you can create your own uh, Ramadan Mubarak uh, bunting to put up at home to decorate with. I will leave the links to both those posts below. I'm really looking forward to using our Good Deed calendar this year, inshallah. We have never had one before and the kids are a little older now and they can kind of get into it. So I'm, I'm looking forward to if you're a busy mom, I really hope this pre-Ramadan game plan helped you. If you liked it and benefited from it, please like this video, subscribe to the channel and share it with others. I'll see you in the next one, inshallah.